Steve, are you all right? Oh, I'm not sure. <clears throat> not sure I'm even awake yet. Wonder Woman? Here, now? That's right. Are you sure you're all right? Well, I've had better mornings. What happened to those guys that jumped me? Well, they tried to substitute a watch exactly like yours for your own. I suppose there was some kind of electronic device in it. It's a bug. I would have gone into that top secret Air Force briefing bugged. And you stopped them. Yes. I also questioned them, but uh, they were hired simply for one job and knew nothing more. And you made them tell the truth with the, um, with the lasso. That's right. I can also make them forget everything that happened. You know all about that? Sure. When I was a kid, my father raised me on stories about Wonder Woman, how they worked together and all the adventures that they had. <laughs> I used to think he exaggerated. Your father was a very truthful man. He must have been. He also said you were gorgeous. <laughs> you must have known him well. Yes, I did. From the uh, J-shaped burn scar on his right shoulder to the 20 millimeter shell casing he used as a paperweight. <laughs> That's right. Hey, wait a minute. You couldn't have known him. Why, you can't be more than 23 or 24. Come on, tell me the truth. Are you a relative of this Wonder Woman? Is there an organization or what? You want the truth? Yeah. All right. There is no organization. Only myself, Wonder Woman. And as for age, <laughs> I will be 2,527 years old on my next birthday. Yeah. Well, you're in pretty good shape for your age. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You don't have to tell me. You helped me out, and I appreciate it. You're everything my father said you were. Thank you, Steve. And if you ever need me, I'll appear wherever or whenever. That mean we're going to get to know each other better? <laughs>